Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a full beat face tutorial. This is my before and after shot. So it's a super full coverage, intense, dramatic type of look. You guys know how I do it. So this is literally one of my favorite looks to do on myself. I wear it quite often. I love all the pink and the berry tones. So if you guys would like to learn how to create it, then carry on watching. So as normal, I've already done my eyebrows. Now I'm just going to go ahead and apply a bit of concealer over my eyelid. I personally love to use concealer as my eye base. I just always set it with a bit of powder or a matte eyeshadow just so it doesn't crease. Now before I apply eyeshadow, I'm just going to go ahead and apply a bit of sticky tape just so we can get that very crisp line. Okay, so the first shade I'll be using is from Super Beauty called Sangria. Or Sandria Sundays, it's a matte hot pink. So I'm just going to buff this throughout my crease, really diffusing the color. Using another Super Beauty eyeshadow in Denaru, I'm going to use this shade to deepen throughout my crease, and I'm really adding more and building up that color. To further deepen my crease, I'm using this new Inglot eyeshadow in 297. It's more of a purple and it has a matte finish as well. You guys probably know by now that I love layering eyeshadows, kind of like a sandwich. So I'm always building up color and creating like a gradient type of effect. So I've just gone ahead and blended that throughout my crease as well. Going in with another new Inglot eyeshadow in the shade 302. This is a dark brownish purple. So I'm going to be applying this to the very outer V of my eyes. To add more contrast, this is totally optional. I'm going in with this black shadow from Super Beauty called Night Market. Now to help my pigment stick, I like to use the Inglot gel liner in 94 as a base. I'm patting this over the mobile lid and before it dries, I'm going to go straight in and start packing on my pigment. The pigment I'm using is from Inglot and it's in the shade 86, which is literally my top number one favorite pigment um, from any brand I've ever tried. It's such a unique color. Now, of course, I like to go back in and just make sure everything transitions well into each other. For eyeliner, I'm using this liquid eyeliner from Sigma, which I've really been loving at the moment. They actually sent this to me like a few weeks ago, and I just really like it. It's super black, and it drives, drives, I mean, it dries matte, so it's really nice. Now I'm going to go back in with that black eyeshadow, and I'm going to smoke out my liner. To highlight the eyes and brow bone, I've used MAC eyeshadow called Nylon. So now I'm going back in to smoke a bit of that purple shade that we used earlier along my bottom lash line. Then I'm also going to smoke it out um, a little bit more using the berry shade. So that's pretty much my eyes done. Now I'm just going to go ahead and apply my eyelashes. I was sent these by Slay Lashes. They are mink and these are in the style supermodel which are definitely my favorite out of all the lashes that they sent me. They sent me four styles. So they pretty much look like this. They have really nice packaging as well. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these. Now usually I would wear black eyeliner in my waterline, but this time I wanted my eyes to look more open, so I applied this NYX Wonder Pencil in light. Starting on my base, I'm applying Inglot's Liquid Illuminator in 69. This is a new shade, and I'm just obsessed with the stuff. It makes my skin look super glowy, and it just has a really, really nice texture as well. So I pretty much applied that all over my face, uh, avoiding 
the forehead. For foundation, I'm wearing Inglot's HD foundation. It has a medium to full coverage, and I'm just buffing this in using one of those toothbrush makeup brushes. These were given to me by one of my friends, and I actually really like them. She gave them to me because she didn't like them, but I quite like them. Using my favorite concealer by NARS, I'm highlighting down the T-zone and concealing under my eyes as usual. Then I'm going to cream contour using my strobe cream palette from Freedom Makeup. So once I've applied everything, I'm first going to blend in my cream contour. I don't think there's a wrong or right to which you blend first, but I always like to blend my contour in first. Then after that, I'll go ahead and dab in that concealer. As soon as I've dabbed in all the concealer, I want to set it straight away before it creases. So I'm setting my concealer using the banana powder from Anastasia or Anastasia. Mine has actually cracked so I couldn't show you on camera. Next I'm highlighting using Beverly Hills by Ofra Cosmetics. This highlighter is super intense and very pigmented. So if you guys love a good highlight, this is a product you should go and check out and I'm sure it's very affordable. Going back to the eyes, I'm applying mascara to my bottom lashes and I'm applying quite a generous amount. Now to bronze up my skin, I'm using Give Me Sun Mineralized Powder from MAC and I'm just going to apply that mainly to my cheek area and like the tiny spit to my forehead because I've already got the cream contour on my forehead and all that stuff. Then to contour, I've been using Dark Deepest Mineralized Powder from MAC as well. It's more of a warm contour which I personally prefer uh, but of course if you want more of a cooler tone contour then definitely use another product. Now I'm going to go and bake a little under my contour, just a little bit. I'm using the RCMA Translucent No Color Powder. Um, I'm also going to bake a little on my chin and the forehead because I get very oily in those areas and I find when I bake it kind of prevents the oils from coming through so it uh, works really well. And I'm just going to let that sit for about 2 minutes and then wipe it away. Moving on to the lips, I'm using Inglot's Lip Liner in 854, which is my favorite lip liner. Um, and I'm pretty much going to outline my lips, overdraw them a little bit, and then fill in the entire lips with the lip liner. Um, once I've done that, I'm going to go over the top using Trap, which is a liquid matte lipstick from ColourPop. Once my liquid lipstick dried up, I re-outlined my lips and then I also lightened the center using my NYX Wonder Pencil in Light, which is the same product that we use in our waterline. So we've come to my finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's one of my favorite looks to wear. Um, if you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and of course leave your comments down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Mm -hmm.